Parasurama, Sanskrit? He asked, Parasurama, lit. Rama with an axe, is the sixth avatar of Vishnu in Hinduism. Born as a Brahmin, Parasurama carried traits of a Kshatriya and is often regarded as a Braham warrior, he carried a number of traits, which included aggression, warfare and valor, also, serenity, prudence and patience. Like other incarnations of Vishnu, he was foretold to appear at a time when overwhelming evil prevailed on the earth. The Kshatriya class, with weapons and power, had begun to abuse their power, take what belonged to others by force and tyrannize people. Parasurama corrects the cosmic equilibrium by destroying these Kshatriya warriors. 1 2. He is also referred to as Rama Jamadagnya, Rama Bhargava, and Virarama in some Hindu texts. 3. According to Hindu legends, Parasurama was born to a Brahmin sage Jamadagni and his Kshatriya wife Renuka, living in a hut. 4. His birthplace is believed to be on top of the Janapav hills in Indore, Madhya Pradesh. 5 6. On top of the hills is a Shiva temple where Parsarama is believed to have worshipped Lord Shiva, the abbey, ashram, is known as Jamadagni Ashram, named after his father. The place also has a kun, pond, that is being developed by the state government. 7. They had a celestial cow called Sarabi which gives all they desire, cow cammed Henu daughter. 1 8. A king named Kartaviriya Arjuna, not to be confused with Arjuna the Pandava 9 note 1, dash learns about it and wants it. He asks Jamadagni to give it to him, but the sage refuses. While Parasarama is away from the hut, the king takes it by force. 1. Parasarama learns about this crime, and is upset. With his axe in his hand, he challenges the king to battle. They fight, and Parashama kills the king, according to the Hindu history. 3. The warrior class challenges him, and he kills all his challengers. The legend likely has roots in the ancient conflict between the Brahmin Varna, with religious duties, and the Kshatriya Varna, with warrior and enforcement roles. 1 2 10. In some versions of the legend, after his martial exploits, Parasurama returns to his sage father with a Sarabi cow and tells him about the battles he had to fight. The sage does not congratulate Parasurama, but reprimands him stating that a Brahmin should never kill a king. He asks him to expiate his sin by going on pilgrimage. After Parasurama returns from pilgrimage, he is told that while he was away, his father was killed by warriors seeking revenge. Parasurama again picks up his axe and kills many warriors in retaliation. In the end, he relinquishes his weapons and takes up yoga. In Kannada folklore, especially in devotional songs sung by the Divdasis he is often referred to as son of Yalama. Parasurama legends are notable for their discussion of violence, the cycles of retaliations, the impulse of Krota, anger, the inappropriateness of Krota, and repentance. 11. According to Madeleine B. Ardo, Parasurama is a fusion of contradictions, possibly to emphasize the ease with which those with military power tend to abuse it, and the moral issues in circumstances and one's actions, particularly violent ones. 1213. There are legends dealing with the origins of Western Coast geographically and culturally. One such legend is the retrieval of Western Coast from the sea, by Parasurama, a warrior sage. It proclaims that Parasurama, an avatar of Mahavishnu, threw his battle axe into the sea. As a result, the land of western coast arose, and thus was reclaimed from the waters. In present day Goa or Gamantak, which is a part of the Konkan, there is a temple in Kanakona in South Goa district dedicated to Lord Parsaram. 14-15-16 He is generally presented as the fifth son of Renuka and Rishi, Seer, Jamadagni, states Thomas E. Donaldson. 10. The legends of Parasurama appear in many Hindu texts, in different versions, 17. Parasurama is described in some versions of the Mahabharata as the angry Brahmin who with his axe, killed a huge number of Kshatriya warriors because they were abusing their power. 19. In other versions, he even kills his own mother because his father asks him to and claims she had committed a sin by having lustful thoughts after seeing a young couple frolicking in water. 29. After Parasurama obeys his father's order to kill his mother, his father grants him a boon. Parasurama asks for the reward that his mother be brought back to life, and she is restored to life. 20. Parasurama remains filled with sorrow after the violence, repents and expiates his sin. 9. He plays important roles in the Mahabharata serving as mentor to Bhishma, Chapter 5.178, Drona, 
chapter 1.121, and Karna, chapter 3.286, Teaching Weapon Arts and Helping Key Warriors in Both Sides of the War. 2122 Note 2. In the Mahabharata, he is the teacher of warrior Karna. 1. In the regional literature of Kerala, he is the founder of the land, the one who brought it out of the sea and settled a Hindu community there. 2. He is also known as Rama Jamadagnya and Rama Bhargava in some Hindu texts. 3. Parasarama retired in the Mahendra Mountains, according to chapter February 3, 1947 of the Bhagavata Purana. 24. He is the only Vishnu avatar who never dies, never returns to abstract Vishnu and lives in meditative retirement. 9. Further, he is the only Vishnu avatar that coexists with other Vishnu avatars Rama and Krishna in some versions of the Ramayana and Mahabharata respectively. 9 Note 3. There are many interpretation of Parasaramakstra.